point is, guys, my point is, guys, here we go. Here's that verse. So in your hadiths, I said I'd show it to you. Uh, it says in Sahih al-Muslim, Sahih al-Muslim says, Muhammad says, I heard the messenger of Allah say, I will certainly expel Jews and Christians from the Arabian Peninsula so as to leave only Muslims in it. Where's the justice and the fairness in that? Which treaty did the Christians break? I have no idea. You have no idea. Shall I tell you which, Chris, which treaty the Christians broke? None. There was no treaty. There was no treaty between Muslims and Christians. But Muhammad had them all expelled anyway. No, surely, surely there was, but I don't know why it's not stated. There. Well, show it to me. I can't find it. I don't even know where you got that from. If you are a morally consistent person, you should reject Islam. No, no, no. Like, rejecting the whole Islam is just like, it's really, really massive to reject the whole religion. Now, we get that, that, the, the Muslims today reject this hadith. We want to find like, it. We want to prove it. Like, 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 prove it. My friend here, his, yeah. he was a Christian. Prove he converted it. to Islam. Islam I, I, I spoke to a Muslim who became a Christian just last week. You know, so, so and I spoke to a Christian. I, I spoke to a Christian who was from a Muslim background just last week. So at the end of the day, if your religion is teaching things that you condemn, you should condemn your religion. Do you believe in taking and owning people as slaves? Now, now, now notice how he told him what to say. He told him what to say. You have a conscience, bro. Do you condemn taking people as slaves? No, you don't. Now, before you became a Muslim, would you have argued for slavery? No, you wouldn't. So in other words, Islam has led you to believe that owning people as slaves is a good thing. No, that's how is that? Oh, so, so you condemn owning people as slaves? So you'd condemn Muhammad because he owned slaves? No, he didn't. He didn't. He didn't. Oh, bro, guys. Oh, all right. Are you all saying... Bob, you are saying things you didn't say. You're okay. a liar. Okay, so Muhammad didn't own you're slaves. You're a liar. Muhammad didn't no, own slaves. you're a liar. Did Muhammad you're own saying slaves? saying things he didn't say. Are you saying Muhammad didn't own you're slaves? You are saying things he didn't say. Are you saying Muhammad didn't own you slaves? You are saying things he didn't say. Are you saying Muhammad are, didn't own slaves? This, this is what I'm saying. People you are, are saying... Things okay, things did Muhammad own slaves? You're a liar. Not, Not that you know of. Did Muhammad own slaves? No, stop lying. Slave is different to botanist, stop right? Did Muhammad own slaves? No. He never owned slaves. Okay, this is Takir. Could we pull up where Muhammad traded have, in slaves? We have lords in this country that have bottlers. They're the cute name of uh, slaves. They're not but, slaves. No, bottlers are... Bottlers have a paid contract. Yeah, that was the same thing with the Prophet Muhammad. No, no, we're so going to see was. that Muhammad no, traded in, case, in slaves. I'm going to show you Muhammad traded in slaves. If you condemn slavery, you just condemn Muhammad, you need to find a better, a better moral example. No, don't allow your friendships to lead you into an ideology in which you end up... Don't allow friendships to lead you to make permissible what should be morally condemnable. And we we're just pulling it up for you now. Here we go. Because you all accuse me of lying. You said that Muhammad didn't own slaves. So here we go. Listen. No one said that. No, he did. We You're lying. He did. He did. He did. He did. He did. No, he did. You are saying listen. You know, you have a, you yeah. You. Right. So listen. Grade Sahi in Jami at Termidi. I'm probably mispronouncing it. Al Termidi. A slave came to give the pledge to the Prophet for Hijra. But the Prophet did not realize that he was a slave, so his master came to get him, and the Prophet said, sell him to me. So he purchased the slave for two black slaves. Your Prophet was a slave a trader. He says it's a lie. What website is that? Is that a lie? BBC. How can it be a lie? Sunnah.com, it says it right there, bro. What website is that? Who cares? You see, for your friendships, bro, for the sake of your friendships, you're attempting to justify slavery. You need to be better. You need to be a better man. No, he's a good guy. There are, there are Mus the Muslim, the, the, the ex-Muslim who became a Christian, left Islam last week. She didn't leave last week, but she left Islam because she looked at what Muhammad did and said, I don't want any part of that. He's a proud Muslim. Okay, so you say it's a lie. Are you saying that... Sooner.com is lying. Okay, can you read it in Arabic as well for us. I can't read Arabic. I'm going to read the translation. No, why should I? Because, I don't believe in Arabization. Because the, 
The translation given the translation by a Muslim. The this is, is a Muslim the translation. translation. Can you read it? In Can Arabic? you read Arabic? So that Say no. Can you read Arabic? Yeah, read Can you read Arabic? Arabic? Yeah. Does it say that Allah trades? Does it say that Allah, a slave, comes to Muhammad? And does it say Muhammad said, "Let me buy, let me buy the slave"? Can you read Arabic? It's a lot of things. Can you read Arabic? A little bit, yeah. Can you read Arabic? So, does it say that a slave comes to Muhammad? Remember, Islam tells you to tea, speak the truth. I spoke the truth with my friend who converted to Islam. <laughs> the friend who, for the sake of friendships, has abandoned every good thinking and has now accepted a religion that permits the trading of slaves. Does it say, please, does it say that Muhammad a slave came to Muhammad. Okay, you can't read Arabic. You, no, you, you already had your chance. You can't read Arabic either. So you, you, you claim you could read Arabic. You can't read Arabic. So, does it say a slave came to Muhammad? Oh my gosh, you've already read it. Bro, you had your chance. It's in the first line. I've never heard about this hadith. Does it say it? It doesn't matter whether you ever heard of it. Does it say in the Arabic that a slave came to Muhammad? Okay, fair enough. He doesn't want to answer the question. It might be written, but not in the first line. Let me, let me read the whole thing. Don't Bro. Okay, then no. Bro. It's not written. It's so, not written. So, so once again... I'm trying to get it for you. No, bro, you had your chance. You okay, just obfuscated. Just like he had his chance and he obfuscated. The fact of the matter is, if you condemn the owning of slaves, you can't be a Muslim. Why? Because you're condemning the example of the best example, which is Muhammad. So you should abandon a bad example for a good one. Jesus Christ. Yes, let me give you an example. Jesus Christ, at a time when owning slaves was normal, never owned a slave. Never. He could have owned a slave, but he didn't own a slave. Now, How? our example, our example, our example, no, one second, one second, How could he have owned one a slave? second, by buying one, How could he have owned a by slave? buying one, by buying yes, one. slaves by were being one. sold. What's slave? difficult about the language here? He I think it's pretty clear what's How being said. Jesus, Jesus Christ is my example, Muhammad is your example. You own? should be able to do and what applaud everything that Muhammad did, did but own? you condemn they, slave trading. I showed you Muhammad was a slave trader, you've condemned no, Muhammad. Jesus they Christ they was they not a slave they trader, they and he is my example, which is board. why from the first century to the 20th century, Christians have fought against the slave trade. But from the 7th century to the 20th century, Muslims have continued to trade in slaves. And that's the difference. Bro, nothing proves... That doesn't, doesn't get around the argument though, does it? No, it doesn't. It shows that some people are ignorant and make ignorant decisions. That's what it proves. Did you know that Muhammad was a slave trader before you became a Muslim? No. Would you condemn a slave trader today? Would you condemn a slave trader today? If we were selling slaves in this square right now, would you condemn it? Yes, I would. Would you? So you're condemning Muhammad. You're condemning Muhammad. Your hadiths then are lying about Muhammad. I showed you the hadiths, bro. These are your sources I'm showing to you. And when I show you your sources, you condemn your own sources. If that was the case, you should condemn uh, Jesus Christ for drinking alcohol. No. Because a lot of car crash in the UK is due to alcohol. Hold on one second. Would you condemn him? So, yes or no? I would condemn the abuse of alcohol. No, no, no. Look, look, look. Once you drink an alcohol, look, yes, yes. you genuinely get a bit tipsy, then you get...
Right. So would you condemn Jesus Christ, yes or no? So let me know? answer let me answer this question. It's Go a fair it. question. He's taken the principle that I've applied to Muhammad, though he has no defense for Muhammad whatsoever, but he's taken the same principle and he's reversed it. So let me answer this question. I do not condemn the drinking of alcohol. I condemn, no it isn't, let me explain why. I do not condemn the drinking of alcohol because Jesus is my example, but I condemn the abuse of alcohol because the scriptures condemn the abuse of alcohol. I am being completely consistent. You on the other hand, you particularly on the other hand, condemn slavery trading, condemn slave trading, you condemn your own hadiths for talking about slave trading, but yet all of you defend Muhammad for being a slave trader. You're saying he was, we said he wasn't, but let's not go around circles. All I'm saying is, what's the point, what's the point of drinking alcohol? That? Right, no, we're not changing the topic. We, I'll, I'll use that, that, that case, I will use, I will use, I'm happy to use alcohol as another example to the argument. But I'm not going to change the argument. When you drink the alcohol, the argument you lose your control. So you depends how to... much alcohol no. and in what context. Do you drink alcohol? Of course not. Right. I drink alcohol. Who has more experience of drinking alcohol, me or you? Surely you, because right. you drink alcohol. So if I have more experience okay. about talking about, I'm now talking about something okay. that I actually have experience of, and you're trying to argue about something that you have no experience of. Experience. Let me be clear. Let me be clear. Let me be clear. Science. Let me be clear. Let me be clear. Science. We just yeah. took the word science, science. in because that wins an I'm argument. Student, like, 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 we just, your... like, we'll just condemn our hadiths, even though our hadiths are sahih hadiths. What does sahih mean, by the way? Correct. Correct. So I quote sahih hadiths to you, showing Muhammad's a slave trader, in trading in black slaves, that's and then lie. you say it's a lie. Yeah, but when I say what sahih is, that's you say it's correct. <laughs> You see, you're just jumping around, bro. Wait a minute. You know the reason why you're struggling? It's because your conscience is telling you one thing, but your loyalty to your friends is telling you something else. Your conscience is telling you one thing, but your loyalty to your friends is telling you something else. You've got to choose whether you want to follow your conscience or whether you want to be like a base man who just rides with his friends regardless of what they support. Regardless of what the they religion. support. You know that as well, right, so, no bro, we had a nice conversation. I'd like to give you yeah. all gifts, yeah, all yeah. of you. Yes, yeah. I'd like to give you an all. Uh, yeah, that's a that's gift for you. That's you can keep that uh, to that's, yourself. No, I'm, I'm giving it to him, not you. I'm giving it to you. So, so we've had a we've had a nice conversation. I'd like to give you all gifts. Have you got a gospel, bro? Have you ever read the gospel? Half of it. Half of it. Have you got a Bible? You're not an Arab, so you won't get. Do you have a Bible? That's the thing. Right, I'd like to give you a gift. Okay. There you go. That's for you. Have a read of that. What? Bro, I'd like to give you a gift. What? So, so what I would, what I would ask you guys, write down your questions, have a read of it, and then come back and get me another week and let's talk. But look into what I'm saying. Yes, it's true. I love your religion. Sorry? No. You are men of Why would you think that was me? I love your religion. Yeah, it's got a name on it. It's not got my name on it. So have a think about what I said and come back next week. Bro, I'd like, I'd like to give you a gift. Yes, I would like to give you a gift. I'm, guess, I'm guessing... I'm and, guessing you have a Bible, bro. If there's churches, what, what does that mean? So, so how does that tell me I'm both Christian? What, so they treat you different because you're black? Is that, is that what you're saying? Because I'm saying he's getting treated different because he's white. So what? how am I wrong? You, but you're implying that in Christianity no, there is you don't no get treated white different. That's what you say. Get rid of and I'm telling you that's not, that's not true. But well, you're the one who mentioned it. No, I, I yeah, yeah, you told him, you told him to take the book because he's white. No, no, no. There you go, bro. Have a gift. About about slavery. This is the one you want to give me, Bob? Yes. You yeah. Sure? Yeah. Why not? I want you to target me. 
It's saying go but, and bro, No, it, it, I want you to it, target it, it, me. So yeah, I'm I'll, sure I'll, this is the one you want to get. Yeah, yeah, that's for you. Go yes, I'm glad. Yes, okay. Absolutely. Because uh, I don't want no. you to give me anyone. No, I want glad. you to target me. So what does it say? I need to know more about you to give you a more specific one. I need to know more about you. So that's a gift for you as well. Okay? Nice conversation. Nice conversation. Okay. Today? I, I didn't buy or anything. If I didn't know something, then yeah. The, the fair enough, bro. Yeah. Fair enough, bro. Fair enough, bro. Okay. So, so what we saw, guys, what we saw, guys, is Muslims condemning behavior, but then in the next breath, defending the behavior of Muhammad. And I just go back to this point. It's about following the better moral example. It's not about talking about what happened in the past. This is not talking about paedophile kings of the past or slave trading Europeans of the past. We're talking about the one that we uphold as the moral example. If Muhammad is the moral example to follow, then you should celebrate his slavery. You should want to be slave owners yourselves. But if, as many good Muslims do, you condemn the owning and trading of slaves, then you have condemned Muhammad. If you condemn ethnic cleansing for the breaking of treaties, then you can't condemn the ethnic cleansing of Muslims in Burma and China for the breaking of treaties. And if you're not willing, and if you're going to condemn the ethnic cleansing of Muslims both now and in the past, then you have to condemn Muhammad who said that he would ethnically cleanse Arabia of Christians and Jews. And if your only defense is to obfuscate, deny, and say that your own Sahih Hadiths are lying to you, then that means that you're saying your own sources that you use to interpret your own Quran can't be trusted. In which case, the authorities can't be trusted, choose a better religion. The moral example has failed, choose a better religion. Very nice, very nice. And that better religion is Jesus Christ. We do not have these problems in our religion. Very nice, very nice. That is the choice that I lay before you. So pick up your Bible, have a read of it, speak to a knowledgeable Christian. Thank I met my choice. To I'm support us. Christian. I'm Christian today. There we go. He's a Christian today. I became Christian now. I want to. You look like you want to talk to me. Go on then.